All right, my friends. Again, thank you so much for joining the stream. I really appreciate you, my people. You guys are awesome. Uh, you know, I appreciate the support as always. Uh, like I said before, I do this for fun. I do it for myself and I do it for you guys. So you, my friends, are happy and I'm happy. That's all I care about. If you guys like this type of content, give us a follow. Come play with us. You guys are always welcome to come and play with me, all right? I'm going to upload this to the YouTube. So you guys are watching this on the YouTubes. And you like it. You know what the YouTuber said. Give us a like and like a comment. You guys want to play. Come join us on Twitch as well. Escaping World Force on Twitch. Here we go. Grand Finals. Black Atlas versus Candle. Now, if I'm correct, Candle also make tournaments, I think. It's called... Um, he have a series called Cryon Cup. I think it's called Cryon Cup. Pretty cool. So, shout out to Candle and everyone who makes content for this game, right? Who is making content for the community. Appreciate all of right. you guys. Right now, I'm watching lots of <laughs> lots Pressure. of black assholes being in the corner. Oh! The so, let me tell you what's up right here. So, we have Paprika, the alpaca, the crazy alpaca. Versus Tianjo, the Dragon Horse. Now, oh. Tianjo, we already established that she's a rushdown character that's gonna be like jumping on top of you. She can fly, so she's gonna try to get you with like overheads and cross ups and stuff like that. Look at these combos, dude. It's gonna extend it. You can extend your combo if you have two meter. And then she's going into like a buff, a dragon install in a way. Nice oh, stuff. Good. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a buff. I don't know if you play Guilty oh. Gear. Oh, but... oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Okay, I understand what's going on here. Gu Guilty Gear have, there is a character called Soul Bad Guy. He transformed oh, into yeah. like a dragon form. Mm -hmm. They call it Dragon Install. This character have the same thing. Yeah, now he, he... Which is kind of funny because it's a dragon anyways. So it has like Dragon Install. Oh, cast him from behind! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Look, he's recovering a little bit of the chip damage. Oh, corner control right here. Oh! Oh, no! He dropped the combo. Oh, but he got it. Nice stuff. Beautiful jumping. Awesome, awesome stuff. Like that he's saying, was a, that was when, a he, very close first round. when is Den fighting hairs versus the Skullgirls? Woo! Is it Den's fighting hairs versus Skullgirls when? When? I know, right? That would be cool. Oh, maybe. Maybe at some point. If they make like a Skullgirls 2.0 or something, they that, can. That would be cool. They can Get add one of these characters. characters. It would be funny. Yeah. Oh my god! I hope at some point they actually make a uh, Skullgirls 2. I think there is like a they have like a license problem or something. I don't know. Where is mm. the case? Keep me another Skullgirls. That would be cool. Because I know they've just been updating the base game instead of making an actual new one. Yeah, making another one. I think they were making like an RPG. I, for, I forgot the name of it, but it also looks pretty good as really? well. Yeah, yeah, they made a... Um... Guys, do anybody remember the RPG that um, the guys from Skullgirls were making? Indivisible! There you go, that one. Oh, that one. I yeah, 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 that's made from the same people. Also, corner control right here from Candle. Oh, the Oki! Nice stuff with the grab. Beautiful stuff. So let me tell you what, guys. Paprika. She have a projectile. She throws like a like a little like plant and like some other like fruits and stuff. So sometimes on her pressure, she's gonna throw the plant and it's gonna make you block and it's gonna go for like a grab or like a mix up and that kind of stuff, right? So it's pretty nasty because she's basically throwing the plant to the air and it's gonna fall on top of you. So people usually block the plant, but then they get grabbed. Or you, you can go for like a low attack or you can go for an overhead. It is super, super nasty. Look at this Tianjo though with the, the corner carry, corner control, waiting. Yeah, I had, I had a friend who got Indivisible around the time it came out and I saw later they thought it was a really good game, so... I don't know. People think it's good. I, I, ha I, I have not played it. But a friend of mine said it's a pretty good game. You know, it's interesting because they, it, it kind of show that they make fighting games because you basically fight in, an, in the RPG. Oh, nice hit. Right there. Candle is going to get this one. It's like a, an action RPG. So you, you have, like, combos and everything. You can, like, make combos in the game, I think, for Indivisible. 
though, though, can I just say in this game that I like how you can really beat the crap out of your opponent with a super, even though they have zero health. Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> another thing. So as long as long as you're doing the combo, and I think you're on the ground, no, you're on the air, you can continue doing the combo. You can continue. Until you continue it's the over, combo, even though so, they have no health. So they're already dead, and you just like continue to hit them. It's crazy. It's literally just style points at that point. I love that. I will say so. Yeah. So I. I don't know if it was intentional, but I think they should just keep it. Can you just keep that? It's little style points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they were trying to do that, but what is the case? Just leave it there because it's fun. It's just fun to watch. Keep it that way, please. Oh my god, Paprika. So yeah, Paprika is um, a bubbly, happy go lucky alpaca who like to lick you and hug you and kiss you and like she like to get naked and everything and, like, and likes to stick her neck out really far uh, just, I, that one too that one too right it, it look he looks like that really slapstick character with so much stretch on their animations look and at these so nice stuff. characters and it's just for comedic effect it looks hilarious which character uh paprika oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she's supposed to be like a cartoon character, right? Like an um, overly animated cartoon what character. What a Looney Tunes character would look like in this art style. <laughs> Which one? I said that's what a Looney Tunes character Yeah, yeah, would it's look like, like a Looney Tune. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're correct on that. And it's actually hilarious. Yeah, I guess that's the point of it. And um, we were, we were like, I was telling people in the chat, RT Rex, that the person who make the artwork for this game is, uh, I think it's called Lauren. Let me find it. It's the same person who makes the the Powerpuff Girls and uh, My Little Pony. Yeah, I figured because it looks remarkably similar to My Little Pony. Yeah, it was like it, I yeah, think like, it was the art like super style is on point for that. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like pretty interesting that that she actually offered to like make the characters for the for the game. I think she she was the one who was like, "Hey guys, you want me to make some characters for you?" It's a long story, by the way. It's a long, long story. So for anybody who doesn't know, I guess I'm just going to go briefly into the story of this game. This, this looks like a long story. This game started as a fan-made My Little Pony fighting game. And they actually have like My Little Pony characters and everything, right? And um, My Little Pony characters and everything. And then apparently one of the companies, a team Hasbro, contacted the developers and then they were like, guys, we don't want you to make the game. The developers uh, were... The developers were going to make it for free, by the way. They just wanted to make it. And then Cabra uh, was like, no, guys, you cannot do that. And the developers were basically going to give up at that point, kind of. But then the community was like, we don't care. We want the game, right? And then the, the person who made the My Little Pony is Lawrence uh, Fossett, I think it's called. I could be wrong on that. I'm going like, to go back and check it out. But the person who made the My Little Pony characters is like, Hey guys, I know that you cannot use My Little Pony characters, but do you guys want me to make some for you? And the, guy, and the developers were like, Hell yeah! That's so, so cool. So she just offered to make original characters for this game. Yeah. And then not only that, but the guys from like Skullgirls were like, Hey guys, do you guys want to you guys wanna use our engine for free? So Skullgirls basically helped like the developers with the engine for free. And then the person who made the, the Mario Pony characters was like, I will help you too. And then he made the character. So this game is the essence of the of the FGC. This game is like a legit, just like community driven, like make fighting game, right? So that's one that, was that's, the, awesome. that's one of the reasons why I like it. It's because it's like it was make as a Kickstarter and everybody just collaborated to like make it possible. So and then the developers did an amazing job. They didn't like threw it away, you know? Like the animation is pretty nice, the gameplay is pretty awesome. Like it's a successful story I feel of like a community made fighting game. Super, super cool. Like I said, all of this is in the documentary uh Hold Back to Block, the making of Den Fireheads. Yeah, the animation looks very solid in this game. Oh, look at that. It looks like a cartoon, dude. It's like if you're it, watching... It does. It does. Yeah. It looks like it could belong in My Little Pony. Yeah, it's like it's you're... Like, 
the exact same art style with original characters. Yeah, exactly. And the original characters are also pretty nice as well. Like, I, I like all of them. Oh, look at this. Paprika dropping in. Now, Paprika. And the fact that it actually is a legitimate fighting game on top of that. On top of it. Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't only look like that, but it's like a legit fighting game, right? So you have alpha counters in this game and like instant overheads and all the kind of nasty, awesome stuff that we like. So yeah, it is a legit fighting game. All right, here we go, guys. This is tournament point. Whoever wins this is going to... Well, no, he can't win this. He will become the champion. He wins the tournament. Yeah. With this awesome pressure, try to get a grab that did not connect. Now, Black Atlas need to just keep up the pressure against Candle, no matter what. The, the thing with the Anjo, though, is that she's all about the pressure. She doesn't have that many offensive options. She do ha she, she can, like, like, jump out of the pressure. She have, like, an invincible jump roll, I think it is. Cool. But, it's, but it's so difficult once she's on the corner. Especially against Paprika, because Paprika is all about... Look at this, look at this. Look at this thing. Paprika's yeah, all Paprika about like the really mix-ups. Oh my god. Paprika with the mix-ups! Yo, stop it! It's just like keep on kissing him and reset, reset, reset. <laughs> Super. That's gonna be so I think he's dead. He died. Oh, oh he's so dead. Oh my god, look oh, at this. Ultra god, combo! So dead. Ultra combo! And that's gonna be it. Kando is gonna get this 3 0 against Black Atlas. But that was a pretty awesome fight. Give us some clappy emojis, guys. For the guys well, the on. Here. You're not wrong. The chat. The ultimatum. How you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream, muchacho. ¿Cómo es 